This is Ecuador. And I believe if you go in that direction for only like two miles, it'll be Colombia. Yeah, there's a Mirador. Let's get back to some of these designs. So I've been wanting to come visit this place for about two years. It was about two years ago when I heard about this place. And I planned a trip to Ecuador with a friend of mine, and we were supposed to go a year and a half ago, but we weren't able to travel all everything was closed. I love all the faces. And so I was not able to get here. And even on that trip, I wouldn't, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to make it here. So now on this trip to Ecuador, it is, this is about five hours to the north of Colombia by bus. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, five hours north of Quito by bus. And so since I still have about two weeks left on until I return to America, I decided to just get up here and come visit this, this cemetery. So after two years of planning and hoping and wanting, I finally made it up here. Also, here's some of the crypts, some of the mausoleums. Wow, somebody had a lot of money to spend that much on, on that. Okay, it's safe. If there are people in cemeteries, like I will kind of avoid going down a certain, a certain aisle. because they're grieving. You don't want to disturb people that are grieving. So that's why I'm also here earlier in the morning. Oh, there's a puppy. People just brought flowers for their family member. It's one thing I love about Ecuador is they put a lot of care into the uh, the vaults for their uh, loved ones. And there's a cool little design. There's a guy, kind of looks like the Pillsbury Doughboy back there. <clears throat> There's a rabbit. Or maybe a bird. Another bird. Guessing that, oh, it's an angel standing on a snake. Hmm. Might be the Archangel Michael. And you walk under all these arches of uh, 
of the cypress. Some more mausoleums, tombs, different graves, crying Jesus. Wonder is Jesus crying for his own fate? Yeah, like I said, it's not the biggest cemetery, but it's not the smallest. There's a ladder where they they must have obviously just finished trimming. There's an area where more graves can So there, I mean, it's so much work that that you see you see parts that obviously need to be trimmed, but you know it's a staggering amount of artwork and detail. It's a well-maintained cemetery, obviously. There's not a lot of trash. They do have trash cans all over. I have seen workers. They're more at the front. I'm kind of in the middle of the cemetery. Like that design is just amazing of that person. Right there. Like a little turtle. So I highly recommend. It's rather difficult to get here. I mean, first you have to get all the way to Ecuador. <laughs> but if you do find yourself in Ecuador and you do have the time, you know, there are lots of activities you can do in Ecuador for sure. You know, it's in the Andes, it has the coast, it has the jungle, so it might be a little more difficult finding time. But if you do have the time and you're like in Otavalo to go to the Mercado, you know, just run up here for a night <laughs> you know come visit the cemetery and then go back on your way so here's an area i wanted to show everybody where it's it kind of feels like you're in a little maze lots and lots of people take pictures in this area Can you pop out? Mm -hmm. There's a little courtyard. Over there is the... Over there is the uh, office. And with that, I hope you enjoyed. Cheers.